Hi guys, I wanted to show you a program that I'd found a few weeks ago. Um, I'd looked around for quite a while because I'd heard about iTunes having the ability now to, um, well it's actually had the ability for quite a while, I think it might have been since iTunes 4.0 actually, I don't remember, but it has the ability to add lyrics to your songs, and while you're listening to the songs it will display it on your iPod. Um, you can do this manually by going in and you can say get info on the song and you can edit the metadata and you can edit the lyrics on it but you know I'd found that that was really tasking especially when you have a library of 3,000 plus songs so I'd looked for programs to automatically do it but there were a lot of problems with this because artists and uh, publishing companies were getting upset with the uh, software programmers that were making these these programs to find the lyrics for your songs. So um, I found this program pretty recently, it was two or three weeks ago I think, I'm pretty sure, um, but it's called Lyrics Fetcher and it goes into your iTunes library and it can edit the metadata if you have incomplete data for an artist and it will set up um, set it up so that it, iTunes can recognize it so that it can find album artwork for it so that it can get the lyrics for it um, also so that it can recognize it as for uh, whatever genre it is the album it's from and the artist because a lot of the time so you might find a song online if you download stuff from torrents there's definitely a lot of uh, incomplete data for a lot of the songs you'll find. So um, as we open this up, it's it's a really simple program. Um, you'll find the lyrics here. A lot of the stuff in this is new. I haven't run this recently, so it'll show a lot of the stuff is untried or um, failed. But you'll see their success, like here for Switchfoot, it says Mental Web. Um, so it found the lyric status right here. It'll show you. It'll show you the metadata for it. Too. It says title, mental live. You can change this manually if you'd like. Um, but the lyrics, it'll find it online. There are a few problems with this program. It it is um, rather choppy in a lot of instances. It won't find songs, or it'll it'll give them the wrong lyrics sometimes. But um, the majority of the time it will find the lyrics. Sometimes you'll have to check your songs yourself because randomly you'll find that a song it doesn't have the lyrics for it or it has another song's lyrics which can get annoying sometimes but you know it it, it does its job pretty well and the fact that it's a free program and it's like one of the only few you'll find out there anymore that you don't actually have to pay for and that does work because there's a lot of them that'll go in and it'll edit all the metadata on your songs and it'll come up with really weird and random uh, random finds and edits to your songs. Um, also right here you can see it has the option to try the metadata. It'll say show all songs without lyrics um, and it'll try to fetch the metadata for these songs. As you can see here it does pull up other audio files it may not even be music. Like here, I have all the toilet books for um, audiobooks that I can listen to on my iPod. Um, it, it recognizes them as songs when they are songs. So, of course, you know, some stuff it'll always show up as, you know, untried or failed lyrics. Um, right here, it'll come up with either all. So, you can go through all the songs and try to find the metadata that's correct for it. Or you can find the ones with missing details. So, right here, like. These songs, uh, or this, these files, tracks 1 through 14 were from a, a disc that I had downloaded. Um, it was an audiobook, but it wasn't in, um, I, I forget which format it is that, that um, audio files come in. So it, it, they just downloaded it from the disc as all the audio files, and a lot of discs don't come in the audiobook format that iTunes now recognizes them. I think it's m 4 r or something like that, but it, it won't find anything for it. Some of these other uh, Cascada, um, you don't have missing details. And then I have a lot of games. I download the music from games a lot of the time, 
and they might not actually have um, it recognized as it because a lot of this is just uh, music or um, it's just instrumentals and there there actually is no lyrics for it to find or metadata because it isn't recognized as an album or even published. It's just people ripped it from the game. So um, it, it's a really cool program. It does have a few options up here. You can choose the library. You can also use your Windows Media Player library. So the, you don't have to use iTunes. I'm guessing this this probably works on Zune too or other MP3 players out there. Uh, Sansa Media maybe. I'm not sure. Um, so it'll load up the library. You can choose library. You can reload the library if you have it full. If you add new media to it while it's running, you probably won't need a lot of these. You can discard the lyrics if it came up completely wrong and you want to change the metadata for it and get back all your old songs. Um, I hope this helped. I will put a link to download this program in the description. It is called Lyrics Fetcher. Um, you know, all credit goes to the publishers and the writers of this program. It, it's a freeware software, so if you pay for it, you know, I'd, I'd get a refund definitely because it is free. It's not 100% accurate, but, you know, it is what it is. They did a good job, and they're giving it out for free, which, you know, is more than a lot of programs now. I hope this helps. Um, if you like my videos, please subscribe. Uh, if you have any other uh, videos that you'd like me to make, any tutorials, please uh, send me a private message or just comment on the video because I check all the comments and I'll look into it. Um, I hope this helps.